Microsoft Word 2010 – Turning on the Developer Ribbon The Developer Ribbon, as a default, is not turned on in Word 2010. However, it's easy to turn it on, and it has some wonderful tools for working with macros, using form fields, and for restricting the editing of a document. In this video, we will turn on the Developer Ribbon, and we will go through the different groups of the ribbon, and view the different commands available in those groups. So let's get started. There are a couple ways to turn on your Developer Ribbon. You could go to the File tab and go down to Options, and on the left-hand side go to Customize Ribbon. On the right-hand side you'll see Developer, and all you would need to do is put a check next to that and OK. And it would add the Developer tab and its ribbon next to View. The Developer ribbon is useful if you're going to be working with macros, if you're using extensible markup language or ActiveX controls. It's also where you go to get form controls. We will talk about form fields in another video. You have different groups on the ribbon, one for the code where you can go into your Visual Basic, and your macros. You have an add-ins group and you have your controls group and this is where your form fields are. You've got an XML group. You can come here to restrict your document as well. And if you're going to be using form fields you'll want to use the restrict editing feature. There's also a templates group where you can go into a template dialog box to view the different parts of the template that you are using. If you'd like to turn off your Developer Ribbon, another way to get into Customize Ribbon is to right-click on any tab or ribbon and go into Customize the Ribbon. And here I can take the check away from Developer and OK, and it will remove the Developer tab. And that's how you turn on the Developer Ribbon in Word 2010.